Hey, I'm Catherine. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. I'm Christian. And I'm Joey. And we're the Cimarellis. We are all siblings, and this is about half of our family. All of us have crooked fingers. So we did a video talking about this a couple years ago, but we wanted to do another one with questions from you guys. I'm Catherine and I am 28. I'm Amy, I'm 24. I'm Lauren and I am 21. I'm Christian and I'm 18. I'm Joey and I'm 15. Seven out of 11 of us have crooked fingers, and I would probably say mine are the most crooked. Um, as you can see, this guy right here really veered off to the right. Um, everyone else's are more like, like long and short rather than like super crooked. So we don't really actually know that much about it. The doctors never really told us anything, but we think that it's this thing called brachydactyly, which is a genetic thing, and basically just born with crooked fingers. I remember my little brothers, when they were little babies, they had these little tiny crooked fingers. It's so cute. Um, yes, my dad has crooked fingers, my mom does not. I didn't know that that existed, so no, I haven't. And now that I know, the answer is still zero. Okay, no. No. I think surgery is terrifying and I would never get it unless it was absolutely necessary. And it's definitely not necessary because my fingers are completely functioning and fine. So I would not get surgery. Um, yeah, when I was young, my parents told me that that was something that I could do. But then they also said that I could be like, paralyzed, like my fingers might not work. So I was like, mm, skip. Well, not really. I mean, I don't really see anything wrong. When I was younger, I used to like do magic tricks with playing cards, but my hands weren't big enough. So I just kind of gave that up. But other than that, I haven't really had any issues. Um, so I don't really feel like I have anything to fix. No, never. No, my fingers don't hurt except for when I go in the ocean and the water is really cold, my joints hurt. And I don't know if that's like a crooked finger thing or if that's just a, I don't know. Not sure what that is, but yeah. They do not hurt unless I slam my finger in a door. No, they've never hurt. Except when I slammed one in a door once. Like if I drop something on my hand, maybe. No, no. My earliest memory of remembering that I have crooked fingers, I think I was like eight or nine years old and I was on swim team and there was a girl who kind of made a rude comment about them, but I don't really remember caring that much, but I remember that was the first time that I like noticed it, or that, was di that it was different. I don't remember, but I was definitely a lot older because they're so like sneakily crooked that I thought they were just normal and chilling and then I like looked a little closer and I was like, oh. So maybe like 12 or 13, maybe. I think I always knew that because <laughs> like, I don't know, I just always knew that. I feel like it was something that my siblings, we kind of like talked about a lot as I remember. So I always kind of knew like, oh, we have crooked fingers. Early on probably, um, just because like, you know, a few people in our family have straight fingers and I don't know, it's just like, oh, you know, especially Nick, my little brother, he's got really large pinkies. So he's always been able to like, you know, palm the ball better than I can. So that was one thing I noticed when I was younger. 10 years old. <laughs> Honestly, I thought when I was like eight, I was like, yeah, dude, it's like 50% of the population has crooked fingers. It's just, you know, one in two. Definitely not. <laughs> what an idiot! I never personally got bullied by them in real life. It's ever like that one girl made a one comment when I was a kid, but I guess we've kind of been bullied about them on the internet, which I don't really like to read those comments because I'm like, why would I waste my time? But I guess there have been, my sisters have told me that there were a lot of mean comments about them that people said, but I don't really give a rip. I've never gotten bullied for them because they're not that dramatic. But also um, one time I was walking and a kid was like, your fingers. And I was like, dude, what? But I was like probably 14 then. It was just weird. I was like, it was just a little kid. And I was like, I wouldn't say I was quite like bullied and like ostracized for them. But growing up, kids made a lot of comments like, whoa, that's so gross. Or like, that's really creepy. Like they would just say mean things about my hands and be like, you look like an alien. And I would just be like, that's really rude. And then they're like, oh, sorry. Cause I don't think they realize that. Cause when you're a kid, you're just like, whoa. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not the type of person to be bullied. No. 
not once. I'm very surprised because I don't know, I thought I probably would have, but people were usually just like, oh, dude, what happened to your fingers? And I was just like, oh, I put them in the blender when I was younger, and they're just like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> You'd think that people would make weird faces when you get your nails done, but they don't. I don't know if maybe they've seen other people with crooked fingers or maybe they're just trained to like, it's more polite, but I don't really think I've ever had a person be like, what happened to your fingers? Or anything like that. They don't make weird faces because of my nails. They will make weird faces because I won't stop moving and they'll tell me to choose a color, but that's really the extent of my nail salon bullying. No, okay, the first couple times I like got my nails done, I was always like, mm, are they gonna be weird about this? But never ever has anyone asked me like, oh, what happened? Or even like batted one eyelash about it. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, I took guitar when I was a teenager and it was kind of hard to get some of the chords, but for bass, no. It's more that my fingers are small and it's harder for them on this hand, this is the chord hand, to like stretch really far. And it just, you have to adjust some fingerings a little bit on bass that might be different than the average person. It definitely has because I, there are some chord shapes and forms that I do a little differently and some things are hard to, some like things on guitar positions are just different because this finger is a lot longer than this finger. So this finger is usually the lead finger and this one is just too long for something. So I have to like shift it around. So it's made it a tiny bit harder, but not too much harder. Yes, learning guitar, the amount of times I have cried and still cry trying to play different chords. Also with piano, I can't really reach that far. Like I cannot comfortably do like an octave and like move around, which is really devastating. But actually like this one being so crooked doesn't really affect me like being able to play normally. It's just like how small my hands are. I can't like reach. But I bet if I like tried to stretch more, I could probably get somewhere with that. To some degree. I mean, um, when I was first learning to play guitar, then, you know, I wanted to learn bar chords, but I have a malformed joint in my uh, middle finger, so it's it's difficult to get it all the way down for like the major. Um, so I sort of just have learned other things and uh, experimented with alternate tunings in the guitar, but um, I don't, like if I find something limiting, I don't just like, you know, keep trying to do it. I just kind of skip it and do something else. Um, that way I'm not, you know, like, crying because I can't do anything because I'm pretty sure it's the same for everyone, you know? Everyone has their limitations. As a person who's only played the drums, no, not at all. I don't remember anything that my fingers prohibited me from doing, ever. Not that I'm aware of, um, no. No, I kind of have like the eye of the tiger, like with guitar. I was like, my fingers cannot do this chord, but then I would just force them to do it somehow and then just keep trying and it would work. Let's see, I think if I wanted to like stretch, okay, like from like the first fret to the eighth fret, I couldn't really do that um, because of like the size, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't really, and there are definitely pieces that I could not play even if I tried to practice them, but it's sort of like, you know, being like, like okay, I'm not six foot nine, so I can't play basketball, you know, like it's, it's, uh, that's how I see it. No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna see it. No, I, I, I don't know. I don't think anything. Um, no, and I was surprised because I think when I was younger, when I was a teenager, like before I started to date, I thought maybe a boy wouldn't like it or would think it was like weird or ugly, but I've never had that experience. And it actually has been very much the opposite. Whereas I felt like boys pointed it out and they liked it and thought it was cool and like different. So I had a really positive experience of it in dating, so. No, it has not because no one's ever pointed them out. So I don't know if it would or would not. Cause they, I guess they just don't notice. Yikes, fake. Um, no. Boys seem to think that it's like so cool. Like, Whoa, it's sick. So, or they're like, wow, it's so cute. I'm like, I don't really see how it's like cute per se, but it's it's definitely a crowd favorite. No, not really. Um, if anything, I would make like a joke or like a, a sketchy joke, like, oh, you know, you don't want to know what happened or something funny like that. <laughs> no, I'm like 12 years old, so. It's time for question of the week. Every week we answer a question from you guys from social media and this week it comes from our Patreon. Hey Patreon. So this comes from Cassandra and she says, what's your favorite thing to have for breakfast? Okay, I'll start. So either I like to make a breakfast scramble with a bunch of um, vegetables and sausage and um, eggs obviously, or 
I make two eggs and a strawberry eggo waffle, and it's so good. All right, so I take one bagel, right? There's two halves. One half Nutella, other half fried egg with salsa on top. Mm. The question okay. was, what was, what's your favorite thing? So I don't necessarily eat this every day because it's too much work, but my favorite breakfast would be scrambled eggs, bacon, avocado, fresh orange juice, Ooh. like fresh squeezed orange juice, and then some kind of like um, a pancake with real maple syrup. That's my favorite breakfast. Gotta uh, go all out. Favorite breakfast, it's, a, it's, a, it's hard to pick between waffles, but the, I think the favorite is, all right, start out, we get sausage roll. We cut some out, flatten that on the pan, cook it up for a little while, take it out the pan, put the egg in there, cook it up, take it out the pan, toast up a bagel, put the bagel with the other stuff, slap it together. Also throw some cheese on there and some butter. Put it back in the pan, heat it up a little bit more. So it's like a it's like a bagel sandwich with sausage. A breakfast sandwich. It's breakfast, a breakfast sandwich. sandwich. Yes. Homemade. But it's better. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that sounds chef. good. You should make okay. one too. My favorite thing to eat for breakfast is is uh, fruit. Tell us, how would you describe each of your personalities? I'm sure the viewers at home want to know. Joey is chill and cool. <laughs> oh my god. Those are like the two uh, most what generic else? words. What else is he? Be specific. Innovative. Ooh. As far as finding solutions that need less work, um, oh, yes. Christian's uh, chill. Uh, Is he though? Uh, owns the world. Oh. And uh, what do you mean by that? Means he owns everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that you click subscribe and join the Sim Fam. We are a positive community of people that aims to lift each other up and encourage each other, and we would love to have you become part of our family. Thanks, Thanks for watching. We love the Sim Fam.